Can you imagine a life without play? For many children across the world, this is a reality. Play is one of the most important parts of learning. Through play, we learn how to cooperate, use our imaginations, problem solve, and deal with different emotions. But the truth is that because of awful things like war, poverty, and disease, there are millions of children around the world who aren't able to play. And some children are too busy helping with household chores, like collecting drinking water, or working to help make money for their families to survive. For those children who are lucky enough to attend school, their classes can have as many as 130 students and just one teacher. But there's this awesome organization called Right to Play that makes sure children in disadvantaged countries have the chance to play and learn while they play. Right to Play helps teachers learn new ways of using not just the classroom, but also the space outside the classroom to teach their students. Nothing has the power to bring children and youth together like sport and play. Right to Play games have valuable life lessons and health messages built right into them. And they're always designed to be inclusive, meaning that all children are welcome and no child is ever excluded from the activities. Right to Play makes it a priority to include girls in all its games and activities even in countries where girls don't traditionally have as many opportunities to play. Also, children with disabilities are always encouraged to join in. Each week, more than 13,000 local Right to Play leaders in communities located in Africa, Asia, the Middle East, and South America work with more than 700,000 children around the world using games and play to teach important life skills. In each country, Right to Play hires local community members to manage the program. These local community members train teachers, coaches, and volunteers to run Right to Play games. These games teach children things like concentration, respect, understanding, cooperation, and valuable knowledge about health issues like malaria. Did you know that in Africa, a child dies every 45 seconds from malaria, even though it's a preventable and curable disease? In order to help those children, Right to Play invented a game called Mosquito Tag. It teaches children ways to avoid malaria a deadly virus carried by some mosquitoes. Mosquito tag is like a game of freeze tag, but with three different roles to play. The player who's it plays the role of the mosquito carrying the malaria virus. When a mosquito tags a regular player, he or she is infected and must stop and act out the symptoms of malaria. The infected player can only be cured when a doctor player tags them by rolling a red ball through their legs, which symbolizes the malaria vaccine. Mosquito tag is as educational as it is fun to play. It helps children recognize the symptoms of the virus. It teaches them that if they feel those symptoms, they need to go see a doctor and take medicine to get better. After a game, the local right to play leader involves the children in a discussion that allows them to think about the game they just played. Then, children are encouraged to consider how the game can be applied to their everyday lives. Right to Play calls these discussions Reflect, Connect, Apply. Now, do you think that you have the power to make a difference in the world? Absolutely! There are lots of ways to make a difference and support every child's right to play like playing the activities in the playbook during class time, Sweet. hosting your own right to play day at school, sharing something you've learned with your friends and family, Guess what? or even connecting with right to play online. But most importantly, exercising your own right to play every day. After all, when children play, the world wins.